What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a very, very cool effect. Again, a pretty short tutorial here, but I'm sure you like the short tutorials, you learn something even quicker. This is gonna be talking about the cloning effect. I'm gonna show it on screen right now. I'm sure you're familiar with this. Loads of YouTubers use this. Loads of various different uh, videos you've seen, I'm sure, have used this. Basically, you know what I mean? It's just adding two of you in the same room. A super simple effect to pull off. Looks very, very cool to people that maybe don't really know how to do it and also don't really understand that it's actually, like, pr probably hands down one of the easiest effects you can pull off. It's very simple. You, you, <laughs> honestly, this is gonna take a matter of minutes. But without further ado, guys, let's jump into the cloning tutorial here on my channel. Okay, so this right here is, of course, the effect that we're trying to pull off is me just sitting down and then another guy walks in the room and it basically looks exactly like this. Two of us there, even though, you know what I mean, it's not obviously the same shot. However, right here, I'm, I'm just gonna let this play out so you can see what really happened. So now I'm gonna walk and I'm gone. So there is an imaginary line right there. Uh, right there, you see? So both of me <laughs> are, uh, disappear after this, okay? And then half of the screen turns around, cool. Basically, the way that you are gonna pull off this effect in the most basic of its form is essentially have the camera on a tripod in one space, and the whole technique is that the lighting needs to be the exact same. Nothing can change in this actual frame. So you see, this is all just one clip, and the clip consists of me sitting down and then me actually getting up, leaving the room, and coming back in and acting like I'm looking at me on the couch, right? Because I obviously know how I'm gonna edit it. The way you go about this is very simple. Let's just go ahead and hold our clip and hold Alt, drag up, and this will duplicate our clip. Then, let's just go ahead and trim it to the point where we wanna start it. So we wanna start both of these clips when I sit down. So let's just go ahead and cut that, delete the beginning, and now it will, it will start when I've actually sat down. However, you see this little head nod right here? To make it believable, we wanna make it look like I've nodded my head at me, who's also walked in the room. So right here, this head nod, we should pull this top clip very, very far to the point where I've now walked in. So it's now, of course, gonna look like, yes, I have indeed nodded my head to me, basically. So I guess it looks pretty cool. Okay, so boom. Let's, of course, go to the beginning, delete, and now we simply have a clip on top, which is me just walking in, right? Boom, in fact, we could even pull that back a little bit, right? So I've sat down and then I'm gonna walk in, right? But of course here it just cuts. Now, what we wanna do is literally just create a very simple mask on the top layer. So of course, when the top layer goes over it, it cuts it away. We wanna just go ahead and select this top layer, go over to the opacity, select, um, select, well, hold on. Let's actually just zoom this out a little bit so we have a little bit to work with, uh, boom. And let's just go ahead and select the square tool, right? So this is of course the mask tool. We're gonna wanna line this up just with, um, just with this kind of line of the corner, uh, the, the, the corner line down the screen, right? So I'm gonna drag this right down there. So that's trying just to get it in the corner right there. So we've got a whole section of me on the couch and a whole section of me coming through the door. Boom. Now once we've actually done that, let's just go ahead and add a little bit of feather, maybe like a 30% feather just so everything looks okay. And now let's go to the beginning, create an endpoint, go over here, create an out point, and let's just go ahead and see. So I sit down, ooh, let me just fit it actually, boom. So I sit down and then, boom, I walk in. Very simple. I think it looks cool, boom. Very, very simple. You see how quick we created that. Honestly, hands down, not a hard effect to pull off at all. There you go, I just literally look at myself and it definitely looks pretty dope. Boom! And then I walk and it goes through the screen. <laughs> and there you have it, people. Thank you for watching this very, very simple, quick tutorial on how to actually pull off the cloning effect. I use Premiere Pro. This can be replicated in any other uh, editor that really uh, emulates any of the same features, e.g. The, the masking, any program that has masking. Um, Boom, <laughs> you can do the cloning effect. Anyways, thank you for watching the video, guys. I've been Jack, or it's Jack Cole. For more video production slash video editing themed videos, subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every single day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.